What is up, Virgo? Welcome to your general timeless reading. These are general, so whenever you see this, this is when it's most meant for you. I meant to say timeless, but it will. It's a timeless reading, so whenever you see this, it's when it's most meant for you. These are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements on my channel. And other than that, don't force it to fit. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, you can go ahead and book it down below through my website in the description box because I am a master Reiki practitioner. Let's get comfy. We're in this big old baggy dress today. And if you want to join Patreon, go ahead and check that out. That's where I do the monthly readings, energy shift readings, moon cycle readings, and weekly Patreon only videos. And like, share, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow and I'd greatly appreciate it. Other than that, let's see what goodies we got for you guys today, if I can find my words. What do I want to use for you? Um, let's use Manga Tarot, that's really calling me for Virgo. Virgo, I feel, I just heard lilies, actually really loud lilies. Um, Lilies to me speak to a lot of like innocence. They also speak to um, rebirth energy. When I when I hear lilies, lilies to me actually speak to like death. So that's why I say rebirth. Um, lilies speak a lot to death imagery to me. We are uh, in spring equinox, which is a very like death rebirth energy. It is like dark night of the soul, purging, time to bloom, start new cycles. Show me what I most need to see for Virgo. Fool. <laughs> New cycles. <laughs> Aquarius, Uranus energy, followed by the chariot in reverse, two major arcanas, cancer energy. That's universal energy there. It's two very powerful energies. Some of you are definitely going through a crown chakra opening. There's a lot of resistance though. Um, I kind of feel like resistance to seeing things a little differently. I don't think that it's like intentional resistance. Sorry, if you're new to the channel, I get like really itchy when I start channeling. Um, I get really itchy and sometimes I yawn. So if I yawn, it's not that I'm tired. It's just that I get really itchy or I yawn. It's just one of the two. Um, and with the chariot there in reverse, I feel like that's resistance to, it honestly feels like a blocked crown, a blocked third eye energy. It's almost like you're trying to move forward with a certain project or endeavor. Some of you might be even starting a business. Some of you, it's a spiritual based practice, like in particular. And I feel like you're hitting this brick wall. If you're trying to pursue something and you're almost like following what somebody else has done, please make it your own, right? Um, because someone else's path may not necessarily be your path, right? It's meant for you, right? What's meant for you is always gonna be meant for you. Cause I feel that some of you are like, well, it's worked for them, so it should work for me if I do it just like them. Do what you're really guided to do. Do what you're really called to do. Cause with the chariot in reverse, this feels like a need for a shift in direction. Not saying that what you're doing is not meant for you. Just saying that it should be done a little differently. For those of you where it's almost, I'm not saying you're copying another person cause it doesn't feel like that. Kind of feels like if you're starting a similar business and you're following somebody else's like game plan, that's fine, but also still make it your own, like put your own little twist on it. Cause I feel like um, there needs there needs to be more of you in this. The chariot in reverse feels like a lack of authenticity going on for some reason. Yeah, the hangman, a new perspective in the page of wands, which is my soul card, the soul space. Yeah, there's a disconnect from your own soul. So the, yeah, there's probably a block crown chakra going on here, not really connecting to the higher self because the hangman is a need for a new perspective. It's also obviously seeing things differently, but it is dark night of the soul energy. It's also being stuck in the in-between. I do feel this hesitance. Um, it's a need to surrender. It's a need to surrender and have this very childlike curiosity with the page of wands, like being open to adventure, being open to trying things in different ways, not sticking to the, the way of the book, right? Doing things outside of the norm, having that childlike curiosity. That's, it's, it's really about being creative right now. And I'm not saying to go and like shake things up completely, but do what you're called to do do what you really want to play with and you're curious about even if it means like taking a few days to just rest and kind of step away for a second because that's really going to help you clear your mind you have three majors out here 
I do think that a, that a break would be very beneficial right now, to be honest, for a lot of you. It kind of feels like a little overwhelmed energy. I'm feeling like a lot of Eight of Swords energy, and that could contribute to why the crown's feeling blocked. Yeah, Temperance in Reverse and the Three of Swords. That's a really big imbalance. The Three of Swords doesn't feel like actual heartbreak. It feels like an imbalance in your energy. It feels like exhaustion. It kind of feels like disappointment uh, that things aren't going more smoothly with Temperance there. It just feels like major imbalance in your own energy needing to find that balance between self-care yeah because now my head's getting very heavy all of a sudden it moved from the back of my head now it's moving to the front by the third eye and i'm also feeling it in my solar plexus so i'm having a sharp pain in my stomach um i think some of you really this might be like a overcritical like if you're setting the bar very high for yourself to wanting to achieve certain goals by a certain time frame remember that you're the one that's setting that bar which means that you can readjust that bar at any time world bottom of the deck that cycle needs to close out because it's keeping you in the five of cups energy yeah underneath that is the six of pentacles in reverse it's blocking you from receiving okay let's clarify let's clarify um yeah let's do grand lux tarot What do you want to attain? Six of Cups in reverse. And the King of Wands in reverse. I told you I get itchy or I yawn. <laughs> King of Wands in reverse and the Six of Cups. Um, this does feel like holding on. It's, it's not uh, holding on the wrong. It's... it's, it's it's not the right phrase. Um, it's like looking back. It's almost like, you know when you're walking away from somebody and you're looking back at them at the same time. It's kind of like, I know I should be walking away from this. It's hurting the heart space. It really is. Um, it's hard to do, but it's almost necessary. There's almost like there's loyalty that does lie here to this individual. But it's, um, I think that's why it's hurting the the crown so much it's creating a lot of confusion because it's almost like there's it feels like a sense of obligation to this person but i think that that's it's it's not distorted it's not distorted because i feel like you worked through that distortion i think it's almost just it's you're finally cutting that tie i think that it used to be distorted though i think a lot of you used to have a very strong sense of obligation and loyalty to this person but you're realizing that that was rooted in distortion and that's what you're breaking away from but breaking away from it is very hard and that's what you're doing here right that's what you're doing here and that's why the chariots in reverse so whatever project you're starting for yourself right this change in direction this new perspective you need even if this new project is a new cycle for yourself away from this person uh as i'm saying that some of you have a cord attached to this person in your sacral or your solar plexus which for some of you that means that this is a romantic connection because the sacral chakra is also where like your sexual passions lie things of that nature so if you are like intimately involved with this person um you might have like Obviously, we're going to have cords to our connection. It doesn't mean that, like, you have a cord to this person that needs to be cut. Please don't do a cord cutting. I'm just saying that your sacral chakra is going to go through a lot of healing and transformation because you're releasing something that was very imbalanced, that was very toxic. So if you're having, like, any stomach pains or pains, like, in between your hips or your groins or your thighs, things of that region, it's probably because you're learning your self-worth you're setting new boundaries and it's disconnecting their energy from your energy so just allow it to, t to do its thing let, let it go through that process and say affirmations that are affirming your own self-worth and protecting your energy let's look at the the chariot ace of swords 
Yeah, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. You're understanding that that was not the right direction for you to be in. And it, it wasn't honest either. They might have even been a little emotionally, not emotion, uh, emotionally manipulative. For some of you might be the right word. I don't want to use that for the entire collective. Because I think for some of you, it was almost, um, manipulation feels a little harsh. I feel that this person might have, it doesn't feel wrong. I don't think that they were aware that they were manipulative though, for some of you. I, it was, it's almost like an innocence to their manipulation, like, I'm wanting to say these things because I just want to be loved and I think that you're realizing how like if you have a very nurturing very loving side to you you're seeing that this person had their own wounding that they were addressing but it's not your it's not your job right to be there to heal those wounds for them so you needed to distance yourself and you needed to move away from that because as a Knight of Cups in reverse, they're not capable of being very honest about how they truly feel right now. And you can't do that healing for them. They need to do that healing on their own. So if you have been trying to help this individual through that process for quite some time now, you're understanding that this space is required not only for your own well-being, but for this person as well. And the Hangman is that new perspective. Now, for those of you who are you're pursuing a project, you're understanding that this is needing to connect to your own heart space instead of following other people's endeavors, following other people's outlines of that project right needing to follow what's actually of your authentic truth what we were talking about earlier let's look at the hangman this need to surrender and also yeah the tower moment yeah surrender to allowing this old foundation to fall away and that cycle to close out with the world car the tower aries mars scorpio energy and the world saturn capricorn energy i love these two cards together this is massive change massive transformation it's also a lot of acceptance of the closeout with the hangman there it's almost like okay well i know this needed to happen three major arcana cards and neptune pisces energy with the hangman that Neptune energy is a lot of higher consciousness energy. It's a lot of deep knowing energy. And Saturn energy is the master maker. It's a very big test. And that's why it's probably a lot to do with that sacral solar plexus where the ego and the self-worth lies. Because it's also going to uh, affect how you manifest and how you perceive yourself. How you talk to yourself. Your own inner dialogue. And that affects your personal power. It's a domino effect through the rest of your energetic system, right? And that's how you're going to create your own reality. So by stepping away from this energy, you're actually helping your own energy evolve into a higher, more positive state of consciousness so you can create a more positive reality for yourself because you're removing yourself from a lower vibrational state and connection and environment. No offense to the other person, but they're in their shadow, right? And you saw that. You saw that they weren't being honest, they weren't being authentic, and because of that, you were actually being self-deceptive by staying in that situation. And you see that now with the hangman. So you're surrendering that situation, allowing it to fall away with the tower and closing out that cycle. So let's see why you're disconnected from your soul space though. And for those of you who are pursuing your own path, by releasing this connection, it's allowing you to go through that transformation and surrender so you can have a new foundation for yourself. Because you can't have this new foundation, this new job, this new project, this new beginning for you unless you let go of the old foundation. Because we can only hold so much energy at once, right? You have to release something in order for another something to come in. Let's look at the Page of Wands. Four Swords, yeah. This is the healing. This is the rest. This is also uh, some of you taking a big step back. Some of you, this is taking a break from relationships, like romantic relationships, and needing just to find yourself again. Some of you, this is also understanding that you've disconnected from what your actual passion and creativity are right and it's trying to find that again it's trying to connect with that inner child that that fun side of yourself if you've fallen into a very serious very business-like side of yourself and you're trying to create something you're understanding that i need to learn to have fun with this again when i have fun with this that's when it's flowing when i have fun and i understand and i enjoy my work i enjoy my projects i enjoy my relationships and that's when things, that's when abundance, happiness, love, joy, good health is all flowing my way because I'm in a higher frequency state. And you get to that state by really tapping into that inner child, that childlike curiosity and genuinely enjoying the present moment. So that's what you're working on healing, connecting with that more often. And you do that by being present, by being receptive, by being in the feminine energy and the masculine energy in a very balanced ebb and flow manner, right? So let's go to that ebb and flow, temperance, right? Let's see how we're going to heal that. 
Three of Wands, Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Sun. Beautiful. Yeah, you're understanding what is what needs to be done now, right? There's no no more confusion, no more distortion either with the Seven of Cups because the Seven of Cups speaks to illusions when it's upright. In reverse, it tells me that you're you're finding that clarity on how to achieve your hopes, your dreams, right? How to achieve your goals, your ships coming in, as most readers call it, with the Three of Wands, right? Those opportunities finally coming your way. And that's what's going to help you see enlightenment, the sun, right? But also achieve that happiness, that abundance, that creativity. The sun is fire energy. It's creative energy. It's that childlike nature, right? It's connecting to the soul. It's the eye of raw as well for me as a reader. Um, it's a lot of alignment. I love it. Absolutely love it. I adore that. But that's what is necessary in order to achieve this balance, right? This balance is equilibrium with itself. So let's look what the three of swords is. What was cre I feel like this is what was creating the imbalance for those of you who are, I feel like this is only here to show those of you who are struggling to find the balance, it's kind of like, well, I can't find the balance because I don't know what's creating it. This is what's gonna create it, right? Kind of like a hint from spirit. Well, if you don't know where to get started, here's your hint, right? Yeah, there's the confusion. The two of pentacles in reverse and the six of wands. I don't know where to get started because I don't know what's even blocking me from my success. Six of wands in reverse, Leo energy, the two of pentacles, Capricorn energy. That wasn't helpful. Okay, yeah, there we go. The high priestess, so there's the illusion. It's it's a disconnect from the higher self, the block crown, right? And the eight of pentacles, they needing to work on connecting with higher self. It's It's not... So how often do we get so sucked into, we have the blinders on, that's what I call it. We get the blinders on. We get so focused on our goals, our, our relationships, our home life, that we forget about the self. We forget about the connection with source, the connection with the universe, the connection with, with the esoteric, with, with the things that are beyond our five senses. We, we are so much more capable than what just meets the eyes, the ears, the sense, the touch, right? Those, those typical senses that we speak of all the time. We do have a higher consciousness that we're able to tap into and it's a need to really work on that and practice that because there's a big disconnect from that childlike curiosity. Another page of another page in reverse, but now it's the page of cups. There's a sense of disconnect from what truly makes you happy, what truly lights that inner child's fire, creativity, curiosity, happiness, joy, playful side of you. There's a very business seriousness to the energy and Virgo energy right now. So if you're trying to build something for yourself, learn to have fun with your work again. Have fun with it, enjoy it, do it because you love it. Do something because you actually have fun doing it. Whether it's a hobby, whether it's going outside, whether it's, I don't know, going and singing karaoke. I don't freaking care. Whether it's playing cornhole or playing freaking pool at a bar somewhere. Do what you want to do, but make sure one, it's healthy and it's good for you. And it brings you a sense of achievement and fulfillment that is beneficial to your overall well-being, right? We don't want anything that's going to be self-sabotaging here. That's not what we're promoting by any means. We want something that's of your highest good, but it's also something that helps you find something that's very authentic to you that brings you genuine joy and happiness right there's there's a lot of seriousness going on about whatever you're trying to create and on the bottom of the deck we have the four of pentacles and then we have the nine of pentacles and the wheel of fortune in reverse there's a lot of just it's almost like saving money is being very practical but it's the sense of like lack and security because we have the nine of pentacles in, re in reverse which speaks to insecurity but in between that we have a five of pentacles energy which is a scarcity mindset um let's clarify the world there's just there's just sense of seriousness going on and the universe is all around you supporting you to close out these cycles to move forward you have a lot of majors the fool the hangman the world the tower the sun temperance high priestess so many major, the chariot, the world again. Yeah, two of cups in reverse and the seven of pentacles. There's a need to start invest, investing in your own soul's alignment, right? With temperance in reverse and up two of cups in reverse, the seven of pentacles is analyzing, investment, putting in the time, the energy, and the effort into aligning with your own soul, aligning with your own soul. Page of wands in reverse, right? Page of cups. Oops, sorry. Yeah, page of cups. Okay. 
your own soul's energy, right? Your own inner child, because the soul originates in the inner child, right? So connecting to that aspect of you is going to help you achieve this very light-hearted, fun energy of the sun, that happiness. But when you're so serious and so practical, I'm not saying not to be practical, but I'm saying to balance that with the things that actually bring you joy and peace and calm because you deserve peace. That's a very healthy affirmation. I deserve peace. The things that are taking up space in my mind and causing me stress right now, I release because I deserve peace. I deserve to feel calm. I deserve happiness. Don't fall into that rabbit hole of allowing the anxieties and the things that overwhelm you to consume your mind or other people's energy to consume your mind, right? I don't really feel them that much because I don't think it's that. I think it's whatever you're trying to create for yourself. So there's a very serious, very driven energy to it. You need to have a little bit more fun with it. You need to surrender. Release the reins a little bit. Stop freaking out because things aren't happening the way you want them, when you want them, how you want them. And find that balance. Justice. Okay? Find that balance. This is what I have for you though. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, go ahead, book it down below through my website. I've discounted all my hour long readings by $10 and I put an additional $10 off coupon code for those hour long readings. So you're saving like $20 on my hour long readings for the month of March. So if you want one of those, go ahead and grab them before the end of month of March and check out Patreon for energy shift readings, monthly readings, moon cycle readings, weekly Patreon only videos. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.